a lot of persons and groups have been asking that we should divide Nigeria. Should we divide Nigeria or not? A lot of persons have been asking for the division of Nigeria. Persons and groups have been clamoring for the division of Nigeria, most notably the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Maze Nandekam. Other groups, such as the Movement for the Emancipation of the Niger Delta People, MEND, Movement for the Actualization of the Sovereign Straits of Biafra, and other personalities in Nigeria have also talked about the disintegration of Nigeria. Let's look at the reason why they want Nigeria to be divided and let us also talk about the history of Nigeria a little. Nigeria is a country in Africa located in Western Africa. Nigeria is surrounded in the West by the Republic, in the North by Niger, East by Cameroon, North East by Chad and the South Atlantic Ocean. Nigeria came into existence in the year 1914 when Frederick Lugard amalgamated the Northern and Southern region of Nigeria into Nigeria. Nigeria got her independence on the 1st of October 1960 and became a republic on 1st of October 1963. Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa with a population of about 209.5 million people as of the year 2021. Now let's talk about the reasons why they want Nigeria to be divided and the reasons why those who do not want Nigeria to be divided want Nigeria to continue. Now let's go to the reasons why they want Nigeria to be divided. Number one. Those who ask for the division of Nigeria claim that Nigeria should be divided because Nigeria was not created by Nigerians. According to them, Nigeria is a British creation, which is really what Nigeria is. Nigeria was not created by Nigerians. Britain sent Frederick Lugard and George Gordy to create Nigeria. Nigeria was not created by Nigerians, unlike what you have in Britain, when in the year 1707, the British people created Britain. The Chinese people created China and other people in other parts of the world created their own countries. Americans created America. But in the case of Nigeria, Nigeria was created by force by the British people over a period of 46 years through conquest, through war, through subjugation. That's how we got Nigeria. And those who say that they do not want, want Nigeria to continue give this reason as one of the reasons why Nigeria is finding difficult to work. And to them, Nigeria can never work since Nigeria is a product of colonization and not a product of the wills of Nigerians that a country that was created for the sake of colonization will have systems that will never allow that country to work and that if Nigeria was created by the will of Nigerians or by Nigerians that Nigeria would have been working and they would have accepted Nigeria and because Nigeria was not created by Nigerians and not created by the will of God because George Gaudi, Peter Kluger never mentioned that God sent them and God can never send somebody from another country to create country, a country in another part of the world because of that they believe that Nigeria should not continue Number two reason that people give that Nigeria should discontinue is that Nigeria, according to them, is a failure. To them, Nigeria should not continue because Nigeria has failed, or Nigeria is a failed state, or failed experiment, as they call it. Nigeria used to be the fastest growing economy in Africa, and the fourth fastest growing economy in the whole world, as of the years 2014 and 2015. But currently, Nigeria is not among the fastest growing economy in the world, or in Africa. In the 1980s, a dollar was equivalent to one naira, but today, one dollar is equivalent to about 470 naira in the parallel market. Nigeria ranks very badly in most of the indices or indices of world of civilization. The Nigerian police ranks among the worst in the world, according to World Internal Security and Police Index of the year 2016, and still continues till today. Nigeria is the most terrorized country in Africa and has been the third most terrorized country in the world since the year 2015 according to the World Terrorism Index or Global Terrorism Index rather. The Nigerian economy has not been growing as fast as it should be growing which is why Nigeria is now the global poverty capital and it has been so since the year 2018. Despite the fact that Nigeria has less population than India which has over 1.35 billion people and China which has over 1.4 billion people as their populations. In terms of leadership, Nigerian leadership ranks very poorly. The Good Governance Index says that Nigeria has 44.5% in terms of good governance according to the Mu Ibrahim Foundation. 
which shows that Nigeria ranks very poorly. And Nigeria ranks about 34 in the whole of Africa. In terms of corruption, Nigeria scores about 27 over 100 in Transparency International's Corruption Perception Index. According to BBC, within the first 40 years of Nigeria's independence, Nigerian leaders stole at least $400 billion from the coffers of the country. In terms of infrastructure, Nigeria is still lacking in electricity, poor power supply, poor road network, still low standard of or quality of education. And because of all this, a lot of persons say they don't want Nigeria to continue. Another reason why a lot of people are agitating that we should divide Nigeria is because of tribalism, nepotism, and so on. The nation or the country is built on a north and south divide, where there are a lot of advantages given to the north and disadvantages to the south, which goes right to the foundation of the country. When Bruce Harcourt, who was the colonial secretary of Britain, wrote that the British government should make the northern part of the country to be the husband and the southern part of the country to be the south, that the resources in the south should be used to develop the north. Because of that, in Nigeria, most of the appointments in the civil service go to the north. And the police, the same thing applies. In terms of most of the Jewish appointments in the country, they all go to the north. Out of 13 administrations, which can be recorded in Nigeria, 13 major administrations in Nigeria, 10 has gone to the north, or have gone to the north, and 3 to the south. Oil in the southern part of Nigeria, the south or south south or southeast of Nigeria, most of the oil wells belong to those who are in the northern part of the country. But the gold mines in the northern part of the country, people from the south or east or southwest or south south of Nigeria, as they call them, do not even know that such exists. The gold mine belong to the, those who are in the northern part of the country. Now, the Nigerian government has also two policies, such as the 2016 Cattle Grazing Bill, 2018 Cattle Colony Bill, and 2019 Ruga Bill, attempted to give the lands that belong to the indigenous people of Nigeria to the Fulanese. Because of all this, a lot of persons have decided that they do not want Nigeria to continue, but they want Nigeria to end immediately, and they are ready to give up their lives to end Nigeria. On the other hand, those who argue that Nigeria, Nigeria should, con should continue give reasons such as that Nigeria is the giant of Africa, with her large population, which is the largest in the whole of Africa, with large landmass, which is the 14th in the whole of Africa, with about 903,000 uh, kilometers square of land, that Nigeria is the most powerful country in West Africa, because Nigeria has over 50% of the population of West Africa and over 65% of the GDP of West Africa. And Nigeria was instrumental to the formation of the ECOWAS in the year 1975 when President Yadema Nasiwe and um, Joku Bukowon of Nigeria formed the ECOWAS. And Nigeria was also instrumental to the formation of the 1990 ECOWAS Monetary Group, which was used to bring peace or to intervene in Liberia 1990 and in Syria 1997, which Nigeria played very major roles in these conflict resolutions or interventions. Because of this, people call Nigeria the giant of Africa and many other reasons. And even Nelson Mandela once said that we should not allow Nigeria to divide because to him, Nigeria was the giant and the pride of Africa. Now, let's now summarize. Should we divide Nigeria or not? The answer is, Nigeria would have been the best country to have in Africa if Nigeria was one, united, two, had justice, and three, was working. Nigeria as the most populous country in Africa and with the achievements we have recorded, Nigeria would have been the best. But despite all this, the lack of justice and lack of unity and the bad foundation of colonization in Nigeria has made Nigeria to be a very big problem in Africa. Now let's talk about the foundation of Nigeria. The British people laid the foundation for Nigeria and they were the ones that created Nigeria. When they came to Nigeria, they amalgamated the northern and southern regions of Nigeria, but they never united the people of Nigeria. They used force to create Nigeria and they never negotiated their way into Nigeria and they never brought the people together to create the country. They did it themselves and they made Nigeria to be in such a way that Nigeria was not going to work. As I mentioned earlier, Bruce Harcourt, who was the colonial secretary of Britain, wrote that the northern part of Nigeria should be the husband and the south should be the wife and that the resources of the south should be used to develop the north. This injustice has caused Nigeria to be a failure. 
because of this injustice, Nigeria has been experiencing conflicts and wars and different types of wars and conflicts in the country. If Nigeria was a product of the wills of the people of Nigeria and the leaders, Nigeria would have been working. Even the man who created Nigeria eventually, for the Klugard, once made a statement that the north and south of Nigeria are like oil and water which could not mix. This statement is a statement of propaganda. Why did he go ahead to create Nigeria if the north and south were like oil and water which could not miss? And the statement that oil and water could not miss is a fallacy because you know that oil and water have been missing since time immemorial. The evidence that oil and water do miss is that we have soup and we have stew. And soup is the product of oil and water and stew is the product of oil and water. Oil and water have been missing since time immemorial and will keep missing forever. Only that oil and water can miss in the, under the right condition. And Nigeria has not given the right condition for the missing of oil and water. The North and South Southern people of Nigeria can unite under the right condition which Nigeria, Nigeria has not offered. And because Nigeria never created a condition for the education of the people of Nigeria, but only for the amalgamation of the lands of Nigeria, which is why Nigeria is not yet a nation. And it's not even becoming a nation, it's becoming more divided and tearing apart the more. Which is why, according to the founding fathers of Nigeria, as they call them, Nigeria does not exist. According to Obafemi Awolowo, who was one of the founding fathers of Nigeria, he wrote in his book published in 1947 titled The Path to Nigerian Freedom. He said, Nigeria is a mere geographical location. He said, Nigeria is a mere geographical location. There are no Nigerians in the sense that you have French, English, or Welsh. Also, according to the Sadono of Sokoto, who was the leader of the northern part of Nigeria by the name of Amadou Bello. He referred to Nigeria as the mistake of 1914. To him, Nigeria is a mistake. Also, Tafo Belewa, who was the first Prime Minister of Nigeria, said, since the amalgamation of Nigeria in 1914, Nigeria as a country only exists as one on paper. These people were giving the right verdict about Nigeria. They were just being very frank about what Nigeria is or what Nigeria was. But a lot of persons have been trying to force Nigeria to work, and it's not working. It goes right to the foundation of Nigeria. And by the way, not as it way, Bafimi Wolobo, Sadona Sokoto, and so on, these people are not the founding fathers of Nigeria. The founding fathers of Nigeria are George Goldie, who founded the United African Company in the year 1879, which later metamorphosed into the Royal Niger Company in the year 1886, and Lord Lugard, who later came into the scene, and militarily amalgamated Nigeria. These are the founding fathers of Nigeria. The founding fathers of Nigeria are the colonizers of Nigeria, and not Nandazikwe or Bafimi Awolowo or Antonio Andoharo. These people were merely the nationalists who achieved independence, the physical independence of Nigeria from the British, who still rule Nigeria to today. Nandazikwe never convinced, conceived Nigeria in his heart that he was going to create Nigeria. Bafimi Awolowo never conceived Nigeria that he was going to create Nigeria. He never did. Um, the Sadono Skoto or the Fabulewa. Nigeria is a creation of colonizers, and the founding fathers of Nigeria are the colonizers of Nigeria. Simple and short. Now, what shall we do? Should we divide Nigeria or not? The key is let the leaders and people of Nigeria come together and form a just country. If the leaders and people of Nigeria can form a country that is based on justice and remove this system that the Britain created in Nigeria to use the resource of the South to develop the North and never to use the resource of the North to develop the South but let the South use the resource in the South to develop the South and the North use the resources in the North to develop the North Therefore, the oil in the southern part of Nigeria and the eastern part of Nigeria should not be used for all Nigeria while the gold in the northern part of Nigeria is for only the northern part of Nigeria Instead, let the oil in eastern Nigeria or southern Nigeria be used for only those in those parts of the country and generally be sold and be bought in the whole of Nigeria just like the gold in the northern part of Nigeria is being bought and sold in Nigeria as, general, as a general commodity and not as belonging to all Nigeria. In other words, let every region control his own resources as resource control as they call it. Two, let the leaders of Nigeria sign a document that will mandate them to work for the people of Nigeria and not the so-called um, immunity or legal immunity that they have not to work for Nigerians. They can make them not to pay salaries, they can make them not to build roads, they can make them to siphon the funds of Nigerians and nothing bad will happen to them. Which Nelson Mandela once, which 
and that's somebody that had to complain about that Nigerian leaders treat Nigerian people like trash. That Nigerian leaders are so bad and dead. We're not treating the Nigerian people uh, the way they, they, they should. The leaders and people of Nigeria must come together and decide that they want to be Nigerians and that they want Nigeria to work. And they're going to create a system of justice, a system that's going to work, that's going to work, a system where everybody will belong to Nigeria and where the laws that apply to the South apply to the North. And where every person in Nigeria is treated equally, where anybody from any part of Nigeria can become the president of Nigeria, and where every region in Nigeria can develop at his or her own pace, and other matters that need to be settled. Some conferences have been held at the conference that was held in the year 2014. If some of these reports can be implemented, then Nigeria will probably work. But that also means that Nigerians must go right into the foundation and system of Nigeria and completely restructure the country not just by constitution, because the 1963 constitution, which worked, which is working for Britain, or Dubai or UAE, was there in the year 1963. And the year 1966, there was school in Nigeria, 1967, there was war. So it goes beyond constitutional amendment to a total restructuring of the whole country, so that the northern part of the country will not be bigger or domineering over the part, northern, southern part of the country. It must be a country that is built on justice and equity and equality. That is a country that can work. And when Nigeria begins to work, and people begin to see that Nigeria is not progressing, then people will accept that Nigeria should work and that they should become part of Nigeria. But failure of Nigerian people and leaders to build a just system, to agree to work together, to build a just system where everybody belongs to Nigeria and where everybody is free from the colonial grip of Britain, to build a country that is free, where the oil in southern part of the country belongs to the south and the gold in north belongs to those in the north and where nobody is treated as, uh, as a sacred cow while others are treated as second class citizens then Nigeria will be disintegrated if the Nigerians are not able to do to build such a country so let us be bold enough to face the fact if Nigeria cannot become a just country then let Nigeria not become a country